The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the World Light Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 204 pounds, Tyson Kidd. It's time, yeah. And his opponent, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 212 pounds, he is the World Light Heavyweight Champion, x -Pac. Well, this superstar has all the tools needed to win this one. Now let's see if he can put them together. Two of WWE's absolute best preparing to square off here. So much anticipation, and it all comes down to this. And there's the bell. Don't be surprised at all if these guys attempt to one-up each other in this one. I assure you, that hurts. It's come down to a battle of attrition right now. Yeah, it could really go either way at this point. Man, what a struggle. Tyson Kidd's speed, agility, and submission expertise certainly makes him one of the most versatile superstars in WWE. And for opponents, one of the most dangerous. He's as comfortable flying off the top rope as he is grinding an opponent's face down into the mat. Be worrying about long term injuries for sure. Not today, too fast. Oh, out of nowhere. Look out. It looked like his whole neck just crumbled there. Maneuvers like that put everybody in danger. No kidding, that's awful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch out here. Target the arm. Very wise strategy. You know, there are a truckload of fundamentals that Tyson learned in the Hart Dungeon and under the tutelage of Owen and Bret Hart. But Tyson has taken those teachings and brought his abilities to a whole other level. x pac reverses it. Look at the attack here. Oh, man. Talk about a direct hit. Look at this hang time. Incredible. He just got laid out. Tyson Kidd gets out of that one. Nice move. X-Pac reverses it. He's 
just playing classic offense here. Yeah, that's when he's the most dangerous. A graduate going for the cover. One, two, and it's up. He got the shoulder up. Tyson Kidd's great endurance keeping him going here. Oh, man, does he have that arm submission in tight? This is not the position. I don't believe the destruction we're seeing. This guy's just going from one painful move to another. If you're just tuning in, I'm Michael Cole. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday evening. X-Pac has been in dominant factions and held all kinds of championship gold. He's also the first man to hold the WWE Light Heavyweight Championship and the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Tyson is tough for sure. He suffered a terrible hyperextended knee injury and had to undergo surgery. Tyson spent much of 2013 physically rehabbing his repaired knee, but now he's back, looking to tear up the WWE Championship ranks. X-Pac with a nice reversal. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. That's like watching someone being manhandled. What force. No kidding, what a slam. It only takes a couple of those to bring his night to an end. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Oh, wow. Uh-oh, climbing the turnbuckle. Well, the thing about X-Pac's X-Factor finisher is that he can execute it from practically anywhere, making it so hard to defend against. And there's the X-Handle. Remember, momentum in WWE can turn on a dime. And leave you some change. X-Pac with a nice reversal. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Oh, man, does he have that arm submission in tight? There's no escaping this. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. You're right, King. I've even seen X-Pac hit the X-Factor from the top rope. Oh. Yeah, and there's no getting up from a top rope X-Factor. The impact's just too much Two. to overcome, Cole. Back between the ropes. Three. Ooh, with the point of the elbow. These are great competitors, great, tremendous gladiators here in WWE. Some of the best superstars that WWE have to offer. And this seesaw battle has changed again. It is so hard to stop that kind of strength. He is slowly getting dissected. There may be no fighting out of this. End of story. This one's over. You know, it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. And here's a cover. One, two. What a neck breaker. Remember, in championship matches, the title cannot change hands by countout or disqualification. Yeah, that's why they call it the championship advantage. You can lose the match, but keep the title. He is connecting with everything. X-Pac is putting on a show. 
With Tyson Kidd's incredible speed and technical acumen, he just might be the person who locks in the sharpshooter the fastest. Seeing Tyson in the ring, you can tell there's no wasted movement. He's so fluid locking the sharpshooter in and then just cranking back his opponent is squealing in pain. Well, you know, Michael, Tyson learned from the best when it comes to how to apply the sharpshooter. Kidd's so innovative as a performer, I wouldn't be surprised if he added something when, when he applies the move to make it even more painful to his opponents. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. Oh my gosh! Look at this! This could do it! Maybe. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Here comes X-Pac. Really going to work here, just wrenching that thing. Some impressive offense being shown by X-Pac here. This high-flying stick of dynamite first exploded onto the WWE scene in the early 90s as the 1-2-3 kid. After defecting to WCW, he returned to WWE. Great counter. The end may be near. Here we go, here we go. He's hanging on for dear life. He's in perfect position, complete control. And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it. He's going for the pin. This could be it. I think he's got him. I gotta tell you, these guys are in the best shape I've ever seen them in. Oh, and he got dropped. That's paralyzing. It won't take long to lose the use of that arm. Look, he's still going. How? How is this possible? Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching SmackDown, the second longest running weekly episodic television program in history. Clearly on a mission here. <laughs> Did you see that? Almost go one. Whoa! And into the cover. Two. If you ask me at the beginning of the night, I'd tell you that there was no way this title reign was coming to an end. But now, I'm not so sure. The challenger just refuses to be denied here tonight. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Getting some air here. I need some too after sitting next to you. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Not every move is designed to get the fans off their feet. Whoa! A direct hit. Talk about getting tagged and knocked in the middle of next week. As the circulation of blood and oxygen is cut off to the brain, the question is, how long can this go on? Yeah, how long can he stay conscious? Looks like the momentum is reversed here. That's vicious. Cutting off oxygen inflicts serious damage to an opponent. Hey, you could have until the referee's five count to break it. Use it. A kick to the gut. That'll double you over. From the looks of things, X-Pac is in total control of this matchup. Tyson Kidd gets out of that one. Nice move. Well, well, well. That makes the cover. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. You're right. A championship opportunity doesn't come around all that often. You got to make the best of it. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. He's delivering an old fashioned kicking right here. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. Look out! Look out! Man, 
And X-Pac, what offense. He's got to be history. Is he still even conscious? Oh, man. him off with the X-Factor. Won't be long now. You're right. X-Pac has knocked off a lot of superstars with that X-Factor. And he keeps it, folks. What a win. That match was incredible. I can't believe what we saw during this one. Look at this. This was a match that was simply mesmerizing. And here's just some of the action we saw during the match. done he picks up the win that was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another and that's it for this week of smackdown good night everybody